What's going on guys, welcome to the video. And it seems another day passes and we're still talking about John Burko. This is something I actually missed the other day and so we'll quickly go over now. That is a report in the Mail Online saying taxpayers footed £3,700 bill for John Burko's retirement party as Speaker, plus removal costs from his opulent grace and favour home. So being paid multiple tens of thousands of pounds per year is not enough to even pay for your own retirement party or the removals of your stuff from your taxpayer funded house to the home you likely own or probably just one of them. It says exclusive John Burko enjoyed £3,700 retirement party at taxpayer's expense. Some 150 MPs attended the event in the Speaker's house before he stepped down. The taxpayer footed a £3,700 bill for John Burko to have a retirement party. When he stepped down as Speaker, it can be revealed today. The reception took place at Speaker's house shortly before Mr Burko officially ended his controversial decade in the key role. Some 150 MPs and staff attended the event which was disclosed by the Commons in response to a Freedom of Information request from Mail Online. Alongside the £3,696 bill for the party, the public purse also met cleaning and removal costs. However, the authorities said they could not give figures or further information about the work because it could not be separated from other spending because they likely spent an absolute fucking fortune and knew people would be tearing them a new one for it. Incredible, how can they say they can't separate it? Surely you have itemised billing, don't give me that bollocks. A spokeswoman for the Speaker's office said, it's usual practice for the House to mark the retirement of senior officials. Well, it shouldn't. They get paid enough to mark that shit themselves. In the case of the Speaker, a reception was hosted for him by the Clerk of the House on 23rd of October. It was attended by 150 members and House staff in Speaker's House. So, in a taxpayer-funded building, being paid for by the taxpayer. This little cunt takes the piss. The details emerged after 57-year-old Mr Burko, who has now taken up post as a university lecturer in London, as well as launching a lucrative after-dinner speaking career, came under fire for a spending spree in his last months as Speaker. On top of the 3700 for his own party, more than 12000 from his office budget was used to be put on retirement parties for four senior common staff who had worked with him. So, four of his mates in other words. A reception for the Commons Invitation Secretary in February was £2,376, and in March, 3187 went on an equivalent event for the Clerk of the House, David Natzler. In May, the Speaker's official account spent £3,696 on giving the Principal Clerk of the Table a send-off. And just days before Mr Burko himself stood down, there was an invoice for £3,168 for a retirement party for his close ally, Speaker's Chaplain Rose Hudson Wilkin, although she has been appointed Bishop of Dover rather than retiring. So we paid for a retirement party when she didn't even retire. What a fucking bunch of cunts these people really are. Mr Burko also took a £1,000 taxi from Westminster to Nottingham and back. Absolute wanker. He made the trip to deliver a speech at Nottingham Trent University about how Parliament should respond to the anti-politics age. How about by doing what the people tell you to do, you Ramonin little shit weasel? Aid said he was advised to take a taxi due to heightened security concerns, but critics said Mr. Burko's cost defied common sense. Why does he have security concerns? No one cares about him that much, let's be honest. Mr. Burko finally left Parliament, quitting as an MP as well as Speaker on October 31st last year after a controversial decade in the chair. He said there when he took the speakership, he only said he was going to stay on for nine years. However, Mr Burko then insisted he would stay on to oversee the Brexit process, of course, because he was trying to stop Brexit with Grieve, Swinson, Jeremy Corbyn and the rest of the Ramonian shit weasels. Despite fury from ministers and Tory MPs that he was biased towards Remainers, yet yeah, rightly so, he proved that definitely towards the end. He is believed to have been nominated by Labour for a peerage, despite Conservatives refusing to follow the tradition that former Speakers are elevated to the House of Lords. However, he has faced renewed criticism over allegations of bullying staff, which he has always flatly denied, and is something I'm currently looking into for an upcoming video. 
And that is the end of the article there. So you can see we're spending nigh on 20 grand on this guy's fucking parties and those parties of his friends. It absolutely takes the piss. And he wants to sit there and go and chill in the House of Lords and claim a little 300 odd pound a day or whatever it is. I can't actually remember. It's incredible. Especially when you factor in everything he did over the last few months and before to help the Remain cause in stopping Brexit. We know they were all running around saying they wanted to stop a no-deal Brexit, but realistically, it was to stop Brexit altogether. They wanted a second referendum so they could fudge the result and remain in the EU. You know, the sort of thing snivelling shit weasels like John Burko love to do. But on that note, guys, I will end the video there. It was just a quick one to bring you this article from the other day that I didn't have time to cover then, but I thought was important to bring to people's attention. As some of you will know, I have started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you are interested in joining me for a chat in real time during one of my live streams, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or simply want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link to subscribe will be down in the video description and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, I want to thank our YouTube, PayPal, Patreon and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. Ramon! Ramon!